the book of Daniel. Daniel is written between B.C. 607 to 534. Daniel means God is my judge. Dan means judge. The E.L. always Jehovah. Trying to look at some other references here. It is in the writings, not the prophets. The Ketchavim of the Jewish Bible. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, that is the second to last king of Judah. Second Chronicles 36, 5. Came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, into or unto Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord gave Je Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand, because they've sinned against God. We've seen it in in Jeremiah. We've seen the sins of the land. God's here. The prophet Jeremiah spoke, and it happened. Now. Nebuchadnezzar comes into Judah three different times. At this point, the first time, the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand, and part of the vessels, part of the vessels, not all of them, part of them, of the house of God, the temple, which he carried into the land of Shinar, Babylon, to the house of his gods. And he brought the vessels unto the treasure house of his God. So he goes in there and he takes what belongs to God and he brings it to his land. Because God's going to protect it. Because the Babylonian army will come up and they will destroy the temple and destroy Jerusalem. And these vessels will show up later on when Belshazzar has his big orgy of a banquet. That's where they went. And the Ark of the Covenant goes into heaven. Because John tells us when he gets to heaven in, our, in the, the visions of the book of Revel, uh, Revelation of Jesus Christ, he says, there's the ark. You know, so when they make a movie and the Nazis took the ark of the covenant and all that, no, they didn't. Somebody didn't read their Bible like most Baptists. The king spank unto Ashpenaz, the master of the eunuch. Now, the eunuch is a man who has been made unable to have children by surgery. Now, if a king wants to put somebody in charge, he wants to make sure that this guy is not going to come across the queens and the princes and everybody and the princess. Now, you should bring certain of the children of Israel, found in Isaiah 39 3. And of the king's seed of the princes, the blue blood, the royalty of Judah, children in whom was no blemish, no freckles, no acne. They were proper, they were right, but well favored, highly liked. Skillful in all wisdom, cunning in knowledge, and understanding science. So here are men, children. We're looking at the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Solomon has two of these three points. Satan has two of, the, two, or three of, two of the three points. These children have all three. Jesus has all three. Such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, royalty, whom they might teach the learning and tongue of the Chaldean. Now what they're going to do is they're going to try and it won't succeed. They're going to try to undo the Hebrew, undo the Jewish, undo the law, 
of the Israelites, the Hebrews, the Jews, to Babylonia. Satan is trying to get rid of the Jew, and all these years I couldn't do it, so God is bringing them to Babylon for punishment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change them to Babylonians by speech, by conduct, by gods, and by service, and by food. Friend, that's happened in the Baptist churches today. Satan has come into Baptist churches, and the Baptist churches have the Catholic ways. I heard last night in the singing that Jesus died on Friday. You didn't read your Bible. You don't know how to count. You need to step down. You need to get your Bible, read your Bible, understand your Bible before you have any kind of performance before Christians or non-Christians. Before you make stupid remarks on Good Friday, which is Catholic. So I turn around and say, Baptist Catholics. Satan has come in and let the, the Baptists have the East Star, S Star, and let them have the Christmas and all the other nonsense. And all we need to have Baptist churches come in and have candles. Or maybe a candlelight service. Soon prayer for the dead. Satan has come in the churches and he has done what Nebuchadnezzar wants to do with the Jews here in the book of Daniel. But it doesn't happen with, with, the, with the Jews. It doesn't happen in the book of Daniel. But it's happened in the Baptist churches. Why? Because the Baptist churches, the Christians, don't read Daniel. And they don't see it. We're going to have revivals. With things that Christians think are Christian and yet they are satanic. Daniel recognizes it. So, here we go. The learning and tongue of the Chaldeans says, let's give them a Babylonian education. You know what they're teaching in Baptist seminaries? Perversion of the Word of God. No inerrant word of God. You do as we say, the scholars. That's what the Pope says. That's what the Cardinals say. And when it comes to the word of God, it's, it's the bull of the Pope. It's the traditions of the church. Friend, that is in the Baptist churches today. We do it every year. So that makes it right. That makes it holy. No, it doesn't. And what else does he try to do? And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of wine. Okay, let's change their diet. The Jews, now, they're in the law, has a strict diet of what they can eat, what they can't eat, how they must prepare it, how they must cook it, how they must eat it. And what the king is going to do now, let's give him, let's give him pork. Let's give him lobster and crabs. And Daniel said, no, 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 no. There's even something wrong with the wine. Now, wine in the Bible could be grape juice. It could be alcoholic beverage. Or the Apostle Paul said, it may be the fact that he speaks to the Corinthian church, that you go and you have a meal, and you, you know, you're you enjoying the meal. Wow, this is good. And the guy taps you and shows, hey, you know, we offered this meal to Mary this morning. We offered this, this to Esther. We offered this to Tamu. And then, okay, I'm done. Check, please. Now, we are under grace where Peter comes to an Italian's house and he's offered food and God's already said, hey, it's okay to eat that food. See, we're under grace. The Jews are still under the law. And they will be under the law until the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. All the way up to Acts chapter 10, where the diet could change. According to the apostle, to the to the Jews, Peter.
when he had that vision of the sheep. Matter of fact, one time he, he's sitting down, he's having a Gentile feast, and the Jewish disciples and, and apostles come in. He's like, uh -uh. he gets up and walks away. He didn't. But what they're doing is they're trying to change the diet. And I'm waiting to hear to some churches, you know, well, you can't have this on Friday. I already know there's already Baptist. Well, you know, and how many people? We don't eat meat. We, we, we eat vegetables and fruits. Paul says, hey, if you can bow your head and thank the Lord and don't bother your tummy. There's some people, they can't bow their head. They can't eat pork. Because for some people, pork bothers their stomach. Hey, you can't eat pork. On a medical condition of your body, you can't eat pork. But, I mean, if your stomach didn't get upset or if you want to put up with the diarrhea, if you can bow your head and say, Lord God, thank you for the pork, thank you for the sausage, thank you for the pepperoni, thank you for the lobster. And what Nebuchadnezzar is trying to do, okay, now let's change their diet too. You know, the Baptist churches, and I, I'm going to... This is the ministry God's given. The Baptist church, let's change the diet of the Christian. Oh, you mean there's certain foods they can't eat? Yeah. They got a stale, moldy bread of the modern Bibles that's not the King James Bible. That's not the diet of God. That's not the diet of a Christian. NIV, RSV, and all those PDQs. It's to be the King James. If it's not King James, you don't have the proper diet. You have Satan's diet. So now the food. And the wine in the Bible could always be, it says three stands, grape juice. That's the true Baptist Lord's Supper, grape juice. It can be fermented, intoxication, alcohol, which some Baptist churches have. The Catholic Church has it. And then there could be, it's been the grapes, the vineyard, the, the wine could have been dedicated to a God. And Paul's like, okay, goodbye. I had the knowledge that has been given to a God. Bye. So, <clears throat> which he drank. He would be the king. So it's the same food the king is eating himself. What is the king? He's a Gentile. He's a heathen. So nourish them three years. All right, give them three years. Give them three years indoctrination of the Babylonian cause. Well, three years of high school or three years of college should do it. Three years of, of anti-seminary. And we got them. And by the fourth year of the of the high school, and by the fourth year of the college, and by the fourth year of the seminary, we got them. They've been corrupted. How many churches I've been in? Oh, we're King James. And I go prepare a room for you. I go prepare a cottage for you. I go prepare. Now, what about the mansion? What about the Ethiopian eunuch says, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Removed. And at the end, that's a particular expression in the book of Daniel, the end to tell us what we're looking at. This is going to happen in the tribulation period again, when the Antichrist, how, not indoctrinate the Jews into the Antichrist's ways and function. What, what he's going to do is, here's a plate of lobster. Eat it. No, we can't eat lobster. You're a Jew. Behead him. Fall down and give Christmas presents on Christmas. Uh, we don't do Christmas. Do you have any holidays? We have Feast of Tabernacles. We have Pentecost. We have uh, the, uh, uh, Pat. He's a Jew.
fall down and worship Esther and her aunt. Oh, no, no, we don't do that. Get them. The Baptist churches, for those that go to the Baptist church in their two times a year service, are preparing those who are not saved, who will be left behind to, all right, Antichrist says, okay, hey, that church we went to said do it. We'll do it. I've talked to a few Jews. I've known a few Jews. And, you know, they get very upset. And my wife had worked with a couple of Jews. They get very upset that they have to have Christmas off. And yet Hanukkah and Passover in those days are not given off in America. Check it out. We got African days off and holidays recognized by the United States government. How many Jewish holidays are recognized by our government? And how many heathen holidays are recognized by our government and the Baptist churches? Well, yeah, and Paul says that Jesus Christ is our Passover. Talking to the Christians. So I, I think you would look at Passover. At the end, therefore they may stand before the king. So we're going to give them three years indoctrination of the Babylonian to get rid of the Jewish. And at the end of three years, they're going to be tried by the king. The eunuchs are going to have to give a charge. They're going to have to give an account. the professors and educators. And among these were the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mashiach, and Azariah. And unto whom the prince of the eunuchs, now we had the master of the eunuchs, verse 3. Now we got the prince of the eunuchs. The prince of the eunuchs gave names for he gave unto Daniel. Now let's change their names. The names have been changed to get rid of the Hebrewness. The names have been changed. Every single pope changes their names. Pope Bias, Pope Paul, Pope Idiot, Pope Dumby Brain. That's not their name. Name is Belshazzar, their name for the gods of Babylon. And to Hananiah, Shadrach, and to Mashiel, Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego. Now, throughout the Bible, the rest of the book of Daniel, Daniel is called Daniel. But Hananiah, Mashiel, and Azariah are called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and we know those names. And I heard a preacher one day, well, how can we know the names of Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo? That's what the Holy Spirit gives us. Because there, there are even times that Daniel's Babylonian God his name is given, and also his name is given. But, here comes the kicker. Here comes the one that, that the church is going to hate. Here comes the, the ruiner. He, this, oh, he ruins everything for us in our church. Daniel, purpose in his heart. His heart. Not his brain. His heart. That he would not defile. Defile. The diet of the king would defile him by the laws of the Hebrews by God. And the education of the gods of Babylon will defile him against the God Jehovah of Moses and Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Daniel would say today, we're not having that star. We're not having Tammuz. All this other nonsense, we're not going to have it because it's not proper. Daniel will ruin your Baptist church today. 
that Jesus wouldn't come in the Baptist church and kick the tables over. Revelation 3 says he doesn't even come in. He would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat. All right, that's the Hebrew diet. Nor with the wine which he drank. And I said it. That wine could have been given over. And they had a God and God is for everything. There could have been a God is over wine, God over booze, God over vineyards. Because watch what da Daniel will ask for later. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he may not defile himself. He walked up to, up to the new and said, Sir, respectfully, that's one thing Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Inigo, throughout this, this book, they are respectful. Man, you don't fall down and you can go in my image. I'm going to throw you in that burning fire and I'm going to burn the daylights, sir. <laughs> Your typical American Christian today, I put American first. I got rights. I'm not going to do it. I got rights. I have no faith in God, but I got rights. There's no protesting by the children of the Hebrews. Now, God had brought Daniel into favor. Old English spelling. There's nothing wrong with it. Don't need to change the whole Bible because they put a you in favor. Maybe it's better to have you in favor. Because I'd rather have favor. And if I'm going to have favor, I'd rather put me in it, you. I'm asking God for favor. Proverbs uh, chapter 18 says a, a, a wife is a favor of God. I want to be part of that favor. So you, me, here it is. You took the you out of favor. That means you don't get no favor. What? <laughs> Tender love. That's from that's God. That's God giving Daniel tender love. Why? Because Daniel said, I don't want to do that. I want to do what even though I'm in a strange land, even though we have sinned against God, I want to do right. And I'm going to assume that Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Mingo, when they were in Judah and they were worshiping the Queen of Heaven, they were doing everything that Jeremiah preached. I have going to safely assume Daniel was doing right. Come on, Daniel, son. We're, we're going to make some cakes for the queen of heaven. No, we're not. You do it. I ain't. Uh, no, Daniel nowhere says that happened, but God gave him favor and tender love. I think Daniel always had this in his heart. Verse 8. Tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. That's the one who's in charge. Daniel is not overriding. He's not rioting. He, he's not raising a ruckus. He's not rebelling. And God touches that eunuch's heart to say, listen to Daniel. And the prince of the eunuchs said to Daniel, and this is perfectly proper, I fear my lord the king, Nebuchadnezzar. That's good. You know, that's an unsaved Babylonian. There are Christians today in Baptist church, they don't fear the government. They don't care about uh, civil authority. If we don't get Trump, we don't have nobody. Biden is not my president. Really? You want to state that to God in basis of Revelation? I mean, Romans chapter 13 and Peter spoke about it under Nero? I think Nero is a lot worse than President Biden. I mean, Biden hasn't burned down America playing the fiddle. And this is, this is the eunuch code. Who has appointed your meat and your drink. Daniel, that food, the king told me to give it to you. 
Okay. For why should he see your faces worse liking than the children which are of your sort? Now he thinks that Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo are going to have a starvation. They're going to go on a hunger strike. That's what he fears. But also look here, which are of your sort? You know, if that of your sort is fellow Jews, Hebrew children, why are they not stepping up with Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Ingo? Right? How come Baptist churches that I've been in where I go in and teach and try to tell the people the truth, majority of that church said, no. Hey, listen, this is what the Bible said. No. I had a pastor about, uh, I forget it was Easter or Christmas. Well, I'm going to do it my way. I've got seven videos, one PowerPoint presentation telling you where I borrowed the brain. And you're going to say, oh, oh, no, we're going to keep it. Really? So you're the other Hebrews. There. Okay, I'll have the pork. <laughs> and defile themselves. Daniel said, if I eat that, I will be defiled. You're not in good standing with God. Well, we're in Babylon now. Really? Like God can't see you in Babylon? And you never ever hear of the rest of the, the other sort. You don't hear about that no more. Think about it. And we're going to come across with Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo. They would not bow down to that image. And you know what I picture? Here's all Babylon. Here's all the Baptists. I mean Hebrews. I said that purposely. They're all bowing down. Oh, the image. Oh, the image. Oh, the image. And there's three boys standing up saying, we're not doing it. And then you got the women in the Baptist nursery. Did you see? Did you see him not do it? And you got the digger. Did you see he didn't do it? Did you see he didn't do it? Did you see? Yeah, they, they didn't do it. I'll tell you what happened to a in a in a in a Baptist church here in Florida, Lucia County. I'm not taking part in your BBS nonsense. Well, then go back. How dare you? Two weeks ago, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. That's not what you said. You said don't come back because of the perverse decorations. How dare you? One person against our church. Get out of here. Okay. I didn't name names. I, I could. So... The prince and the unit thinks hunger strike. And that <laughs> if these boys die <laughs> when it comes to the end of three years. Wait a minute. I'm, I don't, we don't know what the number. Let's say 100. Uh, there's 97. 90. No, there's 96 of them. Well, King, you know, four of them died. <laughs> Give it a count. I, what, what about those four? Why did they die? This was, this was, and listen, this is a proper fear. Listen, these rulers were not like your president. This one of the rulers we were told about Esther. If he don't hold up that golden scepter, you step in his presence. <laughs> your neck is over there, and your body's over there. Oh yes, my daughter. Oh, the the fugit above in the body, just dancing like that. You want the head of John the Baptist? No problem. Get the head of John the Baptist. The baker. Well, my cupbearer, restore him back to office. The baker, just cut his head off. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. How come two birthdays in the Bible, a king, a ruler, hung one man and took the head off the other man? Interesting. So here he goes. Of your sword. 
And then shall ye make me endanger my head to the king. And what he's saying there is, the, ki the king is going to behead me. If anything happens to you for any of you, I'm going to lose my, there is beheading. I would fear myself. You know what's wrong with America? There's no fear to the government. There's no fear. I can just do whatever I want to do. Hell, if they send me to the prison, I get free food, I get free housing, I get free clothing, medical. Then said Daniel to Meltzar, whom the prince of the eunuchs had set over Daniel. <laughs> so we've got the master of the eunuchs, we got the prince of the eunuchs, now we got the the man put under the eunuchs in charge. Had set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. So the Holy Spirit gives us the name of Daniel and then gives us the Babylonian names of the three boys or men. So this is what Daniel says. I got rights. I can do whatever I want to do. I can eat whatever I want to eat. That's what the Baptists say. Prove thy servants. Now, I believe this is a respectful tone. I beseech thee. See, see I, be, I, I beg you. Please listen. Ten days. Ten is a Gentile number. And let them give us pulse. Now, pulse is a... It's a word in the Hebrew. It's vegetables. It's a vegetable beef stew. It may not have the beef. Or it may have to be. It's all kinds of vegetables. It's not one particular vegetable. That's why pull. That's why I don't say in, in other Bible. It, it, it's like that Leviathan. Leviathan means animals, beast. But you can't say elephant, crocodile, or turkey buzzer, whatever you want to say, because that's not the being. And it was soon that maybe the pole, maybe it changed, maybe it wasn't the same bowl of poles every time to eat. And it was assumed it would be with the Hebrew diet. And water to drink. Yeah, yes, Daniel said. And then let our countenance, let our face, let when you look at our face. You know, when you look at someone's face, you look at a, a, a woman who whose boyfriend asks her to marry him. And you look at her, wow. When a child gets up on Tamu's birthday and he sees he's got that bicycle he wanted. <laughs> and then you got that face where you sit behind the doctor's desk and he says, the test to come in. There's nothing we can do. You got that expression. Then you got that face, you're driving down a road and a track of trail turns right in front of you. That's what a countenance is. Then let our countenance, and it sounds like it's only Daniel, had, Hananiah, Mishu, and Azariah, just nobody else. These four men are ruining the feast and the fellowship of the Baptist Convention. Oh, we want to have a fellowship. We want to have fun. We want to dance around the golden image. We want a party. And Daniel says, no. That's Joshua. Moses, I I hear a battle going on. Moses, that doesn't sound like a battle. That sounds like they're... That sounds like Southern Baptist music they're playing down there. No, I, no Moses, I think it's a rock concert. No, I think it's Southern Baptist music. Maybe a little country. Yeah, you, you know who I said it. I said it. I didn't name no names. Okay. 
So be sweet you 10 days. Give us the poll. And then look at our faces. And then look at the content of the faces of the children that eat the portion of the king's meat. Alright, so look at our faces. That we be not defiled. Look at their faces who are being defiled. And notice Daniel does not say, well, our Jewish rights. You know, the, you know the, 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 the blacks in America, oh, you know, we're the African man, we got to have. And the Muslims, you know, we got to have. You know, in the prisons, Muslims are given full authority to their diet. By orders of the of the governors of the state, you can't give a Muslim in prison what he cannot eat, and you will feed him to his feast days. Daniel's like, listen. Now maybe Melzar knew who Danny was. I know a man in prison, and he's he says, you know, the guards know who I am. They know how I stand. A couple of them believe what I believe. Maybe Melzar knew that. And he's not making a religion. He's like, you know what? He, it's between him and God. So look at them and look at us. So he consented to them in this matter. And he proved them ten days. Now again, he, he's taking a big charge here because his neck is on the line. He must trust Daniel. Daniel must have been giving this man a testimony to, all right, I'm going to try you out. You're being fair. At the end of 10 days, if it doesn't work out, you're getting pulled in one. And at the end of 10 days, their countenance appeared fairer and fatter in the flesh then all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. And here they are. He walks in there. Wow. You put some weight on. Man, look at your rosy cheeks. and I tell you, you better eat what God tells you to eat. And that comes from a pork eater. I'm not, a, I'm not beef eater. I'm a pork eater. Thus Melzar took away the portion of the meat and the wine that they should drink and gave them both. Now when I go into a Baptist church and I try to tell them the truth, the congregation gets a, you know, if we listen to him, we're not going to have fun. We won't have this. We won't have that. We won't have people come to our church twice a year who don't, who don't ever come to church any time of the year. Our offering plate won't be filled by those times. Everybody likes it. Well, let me ask you a question. These, these young men, you think they like the food? You think they liked everything going on? Do you think they were now pleased with Daniel? You got all the seafood. You got the pork. You got the beef. You got everything from the king's table. Right now you're going to get vegetable stew. Now on. Daniel. So you see why one of the things is when Hananiah, and Michelle and Ad that's all right. You see why they got turned in? Because they already ticked them off in chapter 1. Imagine what happens if you go into a Baptist church and you, you get in there and you speak the truth and all that. And, you see, and it gets in. I understand the paganism of the Estar. <clears throat> I understand the paganism of Tamu as set forth on this day in this church. It's in our constitution. No more pagan holidays. Done. And set forth in this church from now on, on the penalty of it, if, in the cause of our constitution, if it does not happen, this church will fold, it will give in, it will sell all its property, it will be the King James, only the King James, and you will believe that the King James is an inerrant word of God. Now who's going to follow that? Yeah. 
that we want revival. You ain't gonna get the revival. Because you're not doing right, you're going with the mass of people. Great start to Daniel.